Welcome to my review of Kubuntu 1604 Long Term Support. Now I have to say apologies first, I'm suffering quite a bit of pain at the moment. I had another deep tissue massage a couple of hours ago and the pain is really starting to kick in. But I'm going to put on a brave face, smile and say how wonderful Kubuntu is. So I have been using Kubuntu 14.04 for the past couple of years, it's still pretty much the original install. Aside from a bit of customization, the system has been running perfectly here, it's been as good as gold, so I can't wait to see what this release is like. Now initially, Plasma 5 desktop came along and I held back from that, thinking, okay, look, it looks a good system, but I think they've got a lot of work to do. We're now at the point we've got Plasma 5.5.5, and I have to say, it really does look good. The KDE team have put a fantastic amount of work into it. I don't think there's anything I really miss now from the old Plasma 4 desktop. In fact, I think the features have got a lot better. For instance, the new Dash. That is so fast and responsive. But you don't have to have the Dash, you've got the old fashioned menu, and I'll come on to those features in a moment. Now on my first time look at the system, there were a few bugs, particularly with the panels and widgets there. I've just been messing around with it though, and it's been fine, so no bugs as far as that's concerned. Now it'll be interesting to see what the newer version of KDE Plasma is like. Uh, I know the Plasma 5.6.3, I think it is, is already out, but unfortunately that's not included in this distro. I don't think it'd be too hard to upgrade, but it's something I'll take a look at in a later video. So let's take more of a look at the system. So firstly, the application launcher. As I mentioned, I've gone for the dash view here. Now this is really fast and responsive on looking around at other applications. And you've got the recent documents. But you can also type something in, so new. Does it show the documents? Ooh, it doesn't actually, does it? That's disappointing. Is it just case sensitive? No? Okay. Search is the applications quick enough though. So Firefox, Kwin, Kate, yep, yeah, you can see it's all nice and responsive. You also got the logout, restart, and shutdown on the left hand side. But also, if you go across the power, you've got the option to do a new session, suspend, or lock the system. So if you right click on the application launcher, you can select alternatives. And you can go back to the old style application launcher. There you go, that's how it looks when you first install the system. Yeah, nothing wrong with this, uh, it's another way of looking at applications. And as with the dash, you can search as well. So again, Firefox, very fast and responsive. The final view we have is an application menu. A bit more traditional there, yeah. Got some nice options. I haven't found anything wrong with the customization of the widgets, so I've been able to add and edit these. Right, so I can get rid of it by just right click panel options and remove this panel. Yep, got a little alert there saying what's happened. Although I have not had any crashes on the system, I did come across a couple of amusing bugs. The first one was on the software updater. It goes, last check, 225 milliseconds ago. Whoa, easy there. I'm sorry, I should have waited at least uh, half a second before I opened it. I expect that was just because I opened it on the first time, so. If I try it again. <laughs> no, it's still doing it. <laughs> also, it took uh, 50 milliseconds longer to open that time, did it? The other bug I found was on networking. If you go to Add Network Folder, it treats it as a desktop icon. What do you wish to do with this executable file? Oh, I'd like to open it. Uh, what? That's not what I want. I want to add a network folder, so execute. Oh, it's nothing major, it's not something you're going to come across on a day-to-day -day basis. I just thought that was a bit unusual, really. Uh, okay, don't ask me that again, and don't beep at me. The system settings is a bit clearer now when you make adjustments that it thinks are not necessarily suitable for your system. So we've got the warning here on the compositor, full screen repaints can cause performance problems, and having full screen windows bypasses the compositor 
but is not supported on all hardware. That is helpful because some of the settings on KWIN are not entirely obvious as to what they do, whether they'll benefit your system or cripple it. Still have a bit of an issue with tearing on videos. It's not horrendous, but it's there. But fair enough, it was there in Plasma 4, so it's not necessarily improved or got worse. KDE Connect is installed by default, and it's picked up my mobile phone straight away. Although I haven't paired it, I, I just don't really want to at this point because the system is going to be overwritten very soon. And for some reason, the driver manager failed to pick up the information about my NVIDIA graphics card, or AMD CPU, which require drivers. It just sat here all dumb and happy going collecting information about your systems, and I left it here for a good 15 minutes and it didn't pick it up. Which is strange because when I was running it in VirtualBox, it picked it up straight away. It was one of the fastest responding out of all the Ubuntu derivatives. Funny, in that instance, it was the Ubuntu driver manager that failed, whereas this time around, the Ubuntu driver manager actually worked on my full system install and the Kubuntu one failed. <laughs> Why can't I have everything work 100% of the time? I just wanted a quick look across here at the look and feel on system settings, because there is quite a nice, convenient way of setting the look and feel of it. We've just got a couple of easy selectors here about the dark and light application choices. That's a simple view of it. Uh, there is more complex methods you can do with uh, these individual sections here on like, the colour and application style. I did more on that on the beta video. I don't really want to delve into all that this time around. I just wanted to give you a quick overview. This is some of the features you can do in KDE. It is a very flexible desktop. There's an awful lot of widgets you can add to it. Just right clicking here brings up the list of the widgets and you can get new widgets downloading from the KDE Look website. This is very handy, you just click on the install button and uh, let's have a look, yeah, just click that, install. Oh, <laughs> not convenient all the time perhaps, but uh, let's try this one, install. There we go. The correct link is provided with that widget. So what have I just installed? The thermal monitor. Okay. So right click, add widgets. There you go, thermal monitor. I'll take a real quick look at the applications we get on the system. So there's nothing much under education. Under graphics, you've just got the image viewer that's Gwen View and you've got Scanlight. Internet, you've got Firefox for your web browser. Multimedia, you've got Amarok for your audio player and Dragon Player for the video player. I installed VLC and KDN Live as part of testing. Office, we've got the full suite of LibreOffice, so we've got Base, Calc, Draw, Impress, and Writer. For settings, system, and utilities, you've got the standard selection of KDE applications that make up the entire desktop. So I'm very impressed with Kubuntu 1604. The few little bugs aside, the system has worked, it has remained stable, I've not had any application crashes, which are the more noticeable ones for the user. Yeah, little minor bugs, you may or may not even come across those. I wonder how it would be on the Plasma 5.6 desktop. You know, those things could have improved, so I can't really complain about a bug that may have already been, been improved. It's a shame it's not been included on this release, but I can understand it's just happened that when Kubuntu 1604 is being released and developed, this was what they had, and they have to go with it. I'm certainly interested in upgrading to this release. I do like Kubuntu. I know it's not necessarily for everyone. You do have to look a bit further at the customizations, but honestly you could use it out of the box and not really miss out on anything. So that was a look at Kubuntu 1604. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.